I just thought I would share with you today um, my easy sugar-free stir fry sauce. It's really easy. It's really good and it'll keep in your fridge for up to 14 days. So something you don't, it makes, it makes a lot, but if you don't use a lot, we usually use it within a week. So it's up to you. But before we get started, I have a confession to make. I am a meal plan failure. So today is Sunday. We're supposed to be having breakfast, but instead we had breakfast yesterday and we're supposed to have stir fry on Tuesday, but we're having stir fry today. We have everything and it's written out. It's just that I was kind of a failure at sticking with the plan. So I guess we'll try it again next week and see what happens. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get started with, you use a big, a big jar. Like this is what I use, you could use any jar. Uh, but first you start with, it says two to three tablespoons of cornstarch. I use two and a half. I just go for that middle ground and that's what I stick with. Then you add, it says a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. I use Splenda brown sugar. And to us, Splenda seems a little bit more on the sweet side. So uh, I use a little less than a fourth of a cup. Okay, the next thing it calls for is a fourth of a teaspoon of ground ginger and a teaspoon of pepper flakes. And then you have two teaspoons of garlic. Get it all out of there, it likes to stick to the side. Okay, and then you're going to add, be very careful here, half a cup of soy sauce. And at this point, it doesn't say to stir, but I stir at this point because of the cornstarch. I don't want it to like just harden and stick to the bottom of the jar. So that's what I do there. Okay, next you're going to add a fourth of a cup of apple cider vinegar. And then you use half a cup of water and one and a half cups of chicken broth. <clears throat> you just mix it together. I'm gonna give it one more stir with this because I've got it stuck in one little corner over here. And then we're gonna put the lid on. And you give it a really good shake. And then you just put it in your fridge until you're ready to use it, which I will be using it shortly. So it's very simple and sugar-free. So there you have it. I've just cubed up three boneless, skinless chicken breasts and I am sauteing it, kind of cooking it in sesame oil, which is, this is what we use. And we're gonna let that cook and then we'll be back to show you the vegetables. Okay, I added a little more sesame oil. And now we're gonna use the oriental stir fry vegetables that we picked up from Aldi. I've never used this before. We won't use the sauce packet, but seems like it's mostly carrots. That's a lot of carrots. All right. right, we'll see how this goes. Okay, here's the sauce. And it will thicken up as it cooks. Okay, so I had to remove a lot of carrots. I probably won't buy that stir fry mix again because I would say it was 50% carrots. So I removed some of the carrots and then I had some frozen peppers strips that I, I added to it as well. So still lots of carrots, but we like carrots, so it won't be too bad. It's soba noodles. So we're going to just put that over it. They don't look very appetizing, but I'm sure they're gonna taste a lot better than they look. And I'm gonna cover it up with some sauce. So there you go. I think this is approved by Sadie. Okay, today I just thought I would share with you something we do with Sadie. We do not do this on a daily or even a weekly basis, usually a couple times a month. We, we do this, we call it her enrichment. Um, dogs get bored, they need a little extra entertainment sometimes. So we have little games that we play with Sadie and this is one of them. We call it string cheese. <clears throat> so what I do is I use a straw and 
just gonna like make a hole through the cheese. I know cheese, this is not the healthiest thing in the world for Sadie, but. She doesn't complain. She loves cheese. Don't you? Do you love cheese? Yeah, it's it, it loves cheese. And doing something like this every once in a while, like, you know, every week or so, isn't gonna make her 20 pounds heavier, but. Definitely not the healthiest foods for the dog, but it's enrichment, that's what I tell myself. It is enrichment. We're enriching her. You want her to be smart and challenged. And this is just hot dog that I sliced up and I'm gonna do the same thing. Just poke a hole the whole way through. Then I just use kitchen strain. Oops. And I just sort of try to really tighten it on the end and then I start threading it. That's a piece of cheese. And it comes unraveled really easily. So just try to keep it pinched tightly and feed it through. Feed it through. This one's already coming unraveled a little bit. There we got it. The cheese. It's like making a bracelet with beads, only hot dogs and cheese for Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And for Sadie, it doesn't get much better than this. Okay. Hey. I would agree with her. I like hot dogs and cheese, too. I might just eat it. Enrich me a bit. Yep. And here we have it. So it's on the string. And now I'm going to bring it in here. And I use two of my kitchen chairs. And what I do is I just tie it on... at you you pulled that one right off oh oh look at that nummy i think she's becoming an expert at this yeah used to she would have to work at it a little bit but she's figuring it out now yep she knows to chew the string Next time on Slice of Life. Before we go any further, I just have another confession to make. I'm an even bigger failure. Hi friends, I'm Sadie. And I think you should like this video. Click subscribe and the little bell too. That way you know every time my mommy and daddy upload a new video. Thanks!